Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ramzilla here. Today we're going to be talking about a movie called It Follows. Help. You're not going to believe me, and I need you to remember what I'm saying. This thing, Help. it's going to follow you. Somebody gave it to me, and I passed it to you. All right, so I've heard nothing but good things about this movie. You no, know, I've heard it's a really good horror movie. This could be the Babadook of 2015, because you know how back in 2014, a really good horror movie was the Babadook. So in this case, it seems like It Follows is the new Babadook. And while I do agree with that, because this movie was really creepy and the score was really eerie throwback 80s 70s it did have some problems now we are getting into those problems throughout this review but i think it's um uh, it's being overhyped like i saw the babadook and i liked it a lot i didn't think that movie was being overhyped for what it was i thought it was really good but this movie, I think it's being overhyped because I feel like people are only reading the first half and then maybe the last uh, 20 minutes or so, they just kind of like, you know, kind of like, what? You know. All right, so let's get into the movie, shall we? This movie is about these kids who have sex and after they have sex, something follows them that tries to kill them. Now, kids, remember, not even safe sex could save you from this one. Still gonna die. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the movie, shall we? So this movie starts off with this girl uh, running away, getting into her car, driving to the beach. She calls her dad, uh, tells, her, tells him she loves him, and then it skips to the morning, and you see her leg broken, and she's missing a foot, and, a, you know... You're like, what? So anyways, after that, you're introduced to the main character, who's a girl, and she's dating this one guy. And then they have sex, and he chloroforms her, takes her to this abandoned building, and that's when you're introduced to the monster. Now, he's explaining to her that this thing will follow her, and only her, and will try to kill her. But this monster it can only walk. Now, he says that it will take on many different uh, forms. It will take on many different views. So it can look like somebody she loves. It can look like somebody different. And he explains to her that the only way to get rid of it is to pass it on to someone else. Now, that means having sex with someone else. So, in this case, um, he tells her that if she dies, the monster will go after him. So, after that, she kind of doesn't believe him, but as the story progresses, uh, she realizes that he has a point and something is following her. Now, this is why, you know, I thought the movie was really good and creepy and eerie. The score that they used was really creepy. And on top of that, the characters that they used was, like, there was this old lady, creepy as fuck, man. Like, she's just walking about, like, following her. Also, when she's in her house and she's in the kitchen and uh, she sees her best friend, kind of like, oh, fuck. Just remembering it gives me the creeps. So, anyways, uh, you fast forward a couple of events and her friends don't believe her. So, one guy who doesn't seem to be afraid, who's also her friend, uh, she decides to have sex with him to prove her point. Now, this is one of the problems I had with the movie, because three days go by and he still says that he doesn't see anything, and you don't get any signs that the monster is following him or anything like that. But when the first guy passes it on to her, the monster shows up within a couple hours, maybe minutes, but when she passes it to him, it takes three four days for the monster to show up so that's one problem i had with the movie um 
after that, uh, another problem I had with the movie was because I really would have wished to see the origin of this monster, I guess you could say. Like, I would have liked to see who it started with, but yet again, this is one of those things that's like, who came first, the chicken or the egg? Because the only way you can get it is by having sex with someone. So, whoever gave it to that other person, I gave it to that other person, who was the first person that got it, and how did he get it, like, by having sex? Did he unleash a curse upon himself, or what? So, I would really like to have known the origin of this monster, I guess you could say. Now... I'm going to be getting into some spoilers, so if you haven't seen this movie and you want to watch it and you don't want to know what happens and who dies, I suggest you skip ahead and find out what I rate this movie. Now, if you don't plan on watching it and you don't care and you just want to know what happens in the movie, feel free to stay. So, like I said, she passes it to her friend and this is something else that I kind of didn't like about the movie because... Remember how I said in the beginning that the first girl, she ended up with her leg twisted, missing a foot and shit like that? When the monster finally catches up to this guy, she just kind of like rides him, like gets on top of him, holds his hand and like sucks his life or soul out of him, I guess you could say. And that's it. So, I don't know if it's different for girls when the monster kills them or what. So, that's something I didn't like about it. Now, fast forwarding to the ending, uh, the way these kids try to get rid of the monster is they decide to go to this giant pool and they take all these electronics with them and if the monster goes in the pool, they dump it and it electrocutes it. That's their big idea. But obviously things go wrong, one girl gets shot in the leg, the monster still ends up going inside the pool and it gets shot in the head. And then the pool fills up with blood, and then it skips to um, the main character and her best friend having sex, because he wants to help her in a way. So they think this is all over, but at the end of the movie, they show, they're showing them walking, holding hands, and then something is following them behind them. And you, you don't know if it's a monster or if it's a person, and it just cuts off. So, you never really see the monster, like, it's not a monster monster, it's, it's always disguised as some type, of, some type of human or person. I really would have liked to see, like I said, the origin, I mean, what this monster really is when it's not human, stuff like that. But, what are you gonna do? <laughs> so, with all those flaws and stuff like that, or with all those things I didn't like about the movie, I'm gonna give this movie a 7 out of 10. Just for that. And for the second half because I feel they could have done something better. Now if you've already seen this movie, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't, go and watch it. Then come back and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more reviews. Once again, this is Ramzilla signing off. See? Everything's okay. Is something wrong with me? <laughs> gonna be here sooner or later.